In this video, you are going to watch my workflow as I build out one of my daily emails. I'm Jason Resnick of NurtureKit, NurtureKit.co, and having to write daily emails means that I have to have a solid workflow in place in order to be able to churn out that much content. Now, my emails are more story-based. They think of the uh, G.I. Joe cartoons of the 80s where there's the story and then there's the moral of the story at the end. That's how I kind of structure my emails is I add a little bit of story, a transition to a lesson, and then there is some takeaway for the subscriber. Now, I'm going to spare you the details and watch me draft up an email. In my case, I try to keep that time about 15, 20 minutes. Then there's a workflow that I have that uses four tools, Notion, Grammarly, Hemingway app, and Jarvis to then shape and refine that draft and really be able to then push publish and push send. So rather than boring you with watching me draft up the email, let's dive in and pick up from that completed step. So I'm in Notion here and you'll notice that I don't have a subject line because I don't write subjects first. I write them dead last, actually. You're going to see through this workflow how I think about things. And so I always have a, a type of email, uh, a main CTA and a secondary CTA. I don't send an email without purpose. It could be me learning about the subscriber all the way to, I want you to buy this. Right. And so I always send with purpose. So the first step is, and this is, as I said, in notion, I copy this out of notion and I put it into Grammarly. Now Grammarly is a great tool. There's a free and paid plans. There's a browser extension that you can use. Basically what Grammarly does is it, it reads your text and offers you suggestions on how to improve it. Uh, I've used it for many, many years. I have a link in the description below where you can actually go ahead and install it and download it and check it out for yourself. I am on a paid plan, but I got so many years of use out of the free plan that I just said, I want to support this company because it's such a big part of my workflow. What's nice about the Grammarly is that when I paste in the content, it actually prompts me with some goals. And so this is an email right? Uh, I want to set a tone of confidence and friendly. Uh, and my intent is really just to describe. Sometimes it's to tell a story or convince, or I'm informing somebody of an update. And this helps shape the overall suggestions that Grammarly gives me. So I'll click on done. You'll see that there's like highlighted in different colors, uh, so on and so forth. This the suggestions over here. But first I want, I want to show you that I, there's this overall score here, and this is actually in 95, which is great. I tried to keep the reading time under two minutes. Um, I've learned kind of just by eyeballing how long uh, my drafts are, where that sits. Um, but normally my overall score is usually in the 70s or high 70s or 80s. Um, but I've learned by using this tool and Hemingway, which we'll dive into here in a second, I've naturally absorb the suggestions that they take that, that make my content better. So let's dive in. Uh, this considering that this is, um, liquid code, and this is actually something that's going to sit into, um, convert kit. I don't want that here. Just ignore those things. So, um, I just kind of scan through, uh, I really enjoyed watching, um, that I really enjoyed watching there. There was something about the Bulls, aside from winning all those championships, that I really enjoyed watching. Well, really, it's just, you know, it's a, an extra word. So for conciseness, I'm going to remove that. Uh, yes, I want that comma there. The biggest, this most significant part. Well, this is more conversational, so I would actually use the word biggest part in your success. Biggest part of your success is better. These are probably sentence fragments. Yes. Um, and that's fine because I'm actually going to use these as bullets. I don't format them as bullets before I put them into convert kit. Uh, so I'm going to ignore that competing. Yes. It's asking failure failures. Oh, failure is an opportunity for learning. 
Failure is a learning opportunity. Boom. I like that better. It's punchier, more concise. Uh, here is a, here's a video montage of Michael sharing his thoughts through, uh, sharing his thoughts on how important mindset is throughout the his career. Actually, I like that better. Um, <clears throat> it's easier to read. Uh, no, that's okay. Um, and then favorite person to play against. Yeah, that's okay. Because this is, this is part of quotes. So, um, you can see I got up to 99. I just want to make sure that the reading time is there. So then what I, oh, I noticed this, this always gets flagged. Um, yeah, I guess proper English says that I should spell that out, but I like the numbers cause it's scannable. And so I'll copy this. And then I'll go over to HemingwayApp.com. I'll just bring this over here. And when you go to HemingwayApp.com, I then remove this and put in the text. Now, what's nice about Hemingway is that it makes my sentences shorter, punchier, more concise, and more precise. And that's what I'm looking for. I try to keep the readable grade level below five. Um, and these color-coded highlights here match up to the colors that are here. Um, and so this is going to highlight some things that I might want to improve on. Now, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, we'll, we'll see here. So uh, certainly use a forceful verb. So yeah, Hemingway is big on the adverbs, the L-Y words. Um, I, I'm more conversational. And so these words I will actually use um, and so that's that, right? I was never really into basketball. Use a forceful verb. See, I was into basketball somewhat, so really applies. Maybe this is kind of my thinking. Um, so let's look at these because these are the ones that usually get me, are the hard to read sentences or very hard to read sentences. So there was something about those bulls aside that I enjoyed. I like that. Um, so I'm going to keep that. One thing that I know is that being scrappy, being a scrappy runt of a kid who wouldn't let anyone tell him, yes, yeah, so this is hard, right? So one thing, see, that's what's nice about these tools is they bring forth highlights that you just think in your head where as you're writing, it sounds good, but really it can be difficult to read and, and people will stop reading if something is hard. So one thing I know that so as I've gotten older and heard him speak, I had no idea how these two traits, how high these two traits were in him. So I'm just going to actually just remove the one thing part. Being a scrappy runt of a kid who wouldn't let him, who wouldn't let anyone tell him that he couldn't do something has evolved into how I am today. So I, that's much better. Um, I like that. And then these are all parts of your mindset. Here's a video montage sharing his thoughts on how important mindset is throughout his career. You know what? Actually, I might say was, even though that, that's probably going to flag as a passive. So what I'm actually going to do is take this, bounce this back over into Grammarly and see what Grammarly says about it. So it actually didn't say anything. Sometimes it does. Um, and then that's it. So what I will do now is actually take this and drop this back into Notion. The final bit is Jarvis. Now I have a link in the description below. And for me, it's a game changer because it actually helps me write punchier, more marketer, markety type content, if that's a word. There's a number of different plans. I happen to be on the top tier plan because it's totally worth it. Um, and I'll show you what the differences are. but in the free trial as well as the paid plan the the mid tiers they have these templates that you can use um, and i use most the subject line email subject lines the video titles and even the content improver um, as well as these two other frameworks here now obviously i've highlighted all of these things because what i do for a lot of content is mix and match i take things from the results of one thing and feed it back into Jarvis and see what Jarvis does with other things because Jarvis is AI. So it pulls from sources as well as its own programming and the users that use Jarvis to 
make better content. So while I might be sticking with email subject lines, because that's what I'm trying to do in this particular spot, video titles may produce better email subject lines, right? So I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So email subject lines, what I will do here is there's a lot. So as I choose email subject lines, it comes in and I, I have to fill in the blanks. So product name doesn't really apply to this email. So I'm just going to put something in there. Uh, tone of voice, helpful. Uh, you know what? I might just say confident, right? Because this email is about confidence. And now what is your email about? You'll notice that there's a number of characters here. So what I will tend to do is I will take the meaty part of the, the, uh, the lesson per se, and then go ahead and try to see if that fits well enough in here. So I've hit a limit here. And so I might need to massage this just a little bit here, right? These are all uh, part of your mindset, right? And let's just see what it generates. So you could see uh, it's, it's, it's okay. They're not, they're not the best, right? I mean, there are some things that are repeated here, um, but you know what? It actually might be taking a, up a lot of space here. So you can see it, this is, this is completely AI driven, right? And so it's going to take what you put into it as it's parameters, right? It's a computer. So um, let's just generate more. Two traits that made me a success. Why the best part of my success is being able to say that I've done something and set out to do it, right? So these have drastically improved um, just by removing the space. However, what I wanna show you is what I do. And this is definitely on the top tier plan. So I'm not going to suggest that that that's what you would do until you actually start using it and get some value out of it. But for me, to be honest, there's nothing better than this uh, as far as helping you craft better emails. So what I will do is grab everything, cut and paste everything in here and put it into a plain document. Because what happens is, is in boss mode, as they call it, you could write documents and it'll actually read the entire document because it, I think it goes up to 3,000 words or 3,000 characters, something of that nature. But basically what happens is it reads all of this in the document and I can just write commands. I don't have to bounce between different templates. And some of the commands are write three email subject lines on the content above and I hit command shift enter and it starts to generate this, right? But then I can go write three thought provoking email subject lines above, right? So you could see that it's a little different in the tone. And so the next thing that I would probably do is I actually kind of like some of these, like, do you want to become unstoppable? That's, I mean, that's pretty, pretty strong. Um, what I might actually do is write three video titles on the content above. Because as I said, this is AI, so it pulls from different sources depending on what you want it to do. So it's actually going to pull in some things from YouTube and Vimeo and some other things that are online that are video based. And so how to overcome fear in your business, right? Mindset is a must for creating a successful business. So while some of these things are good, these can be better sometimes, which actually they are in this case. Um, but I will also just try a couple of other things too, right? Um, write three bullet points on a content of, and again, that allows me to really just kind of see how it summarizes what, what it is, and maybe I can use it in the subject line, right? So I believe that your mental state can make or break the success of your life. I'm not afraid of my skills because I've put in the work, right? That's a big part of what this is all about, right? And it's super powerful in order to be able to then go ahead and if I like something, right, I will actually take this and put it in the title. 
because then it's actually going to give me better things because it's actually going to read this as well as what I tell it over here to come up with a better way. All right. So I'm not really driving too much on those, but I do the hidden key to succeeding. Right. I like I like this one. Right. So I like this. I like this one too. I actually like the, that part, right? The biggest secret in success. I actually like this because this is actually, uh, you know, kind of thought provoking a little bit, right? It's time to explore your mind. Um, although that kind of sounds a little bit um, invasive, but you know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this one. The biggest, biggest secret in success, because ultimately that's what it is, right? And so then I will drop that into the comment content there, and then I'll just drop it over into ConvertKit and send out the email. Now I have Notion, which has all of the brand new content for my email. I've used both Grammarly and Hemingway app to help refine the text that's in my draft to be more punchier, more precise, and, and really more impactful when somebody reads the email. And then I use Jarvis to really just try to drive the open, right? Because ultimately that's what it is, is that subject line needs to sell the click so that somebody opens it. The content is there. It's great, right? But if no one sees it, well, what good is it, right? So that's why I use Jarvis. And again, I have all of the links to all of these tools below. Um, and if you have any questions on it, drop a comment below. I'm happy to maybe explore a little bit more and what and share what your workflow is. I'm, I'm always constantly learning and iterating on my workflow to improve my process. And I'd be interested to know how you write your emails. If this was helpful in any way, smash that like button, maybe even share it with a friend. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so by clicking that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you get notified the next time a new video drops. And when you treat your email list like humans, amazing transformations happen.